everybody. Uh, another Lumion 11 new feature tutorial. Um, what this one's going to focus on is the new volumetric fire. Uh, this is a pretty cool one in the sense that uh, like the fire in Lumion before was it was hurting. Like it, it was in my opinion, it was almost unusably bad. Um, it didn't look realistic at all. I had actually tried a ton of things to, to fix this problem. Uh, I had tried importing like 60 frames worth of PNGs of fire, but it just took way too long to animate and it looked blocky and it, it kind of moved side to side in, in a strange manner. But this fixes that problem. Uh, so what I want to actually show you are two features about the volumetric fire that they added in, which I think is pretty cool as well. Um, now, if you want to get this new fire, uh, then you just go into where you'd find the original fire. So you still do have the option of pulling this in if it's, you know, maybe that there's some uh, reason that you have that work or um, maybe you just need something that's like a little less heavy. I don't actually know uh, how much the volumetric fire affects uh, render times. Uh, I would imagine that it's heavier than this, but probably not that bad. Um, and so, yeah, so all these ones here um, are the uh, new fire. This... Um, now they come in a, a couple different shapes. As you can see, like there's one that comes in a line. Uh, there's one that comes in a circle here. So this is like more of like a campfire uh, style to it, I believe. And then this one is a square. So as you go uh, out and over, you get that. Um, now I will get rid of this one and I will drag this one off to the side. So uh, what I thought was kind of interesting about this is I don't know how much use you would actually get out of doing this, but regardless, I thought it was kind of neat where uh, if you click into the fire, you can actually load a texture. So I just have our uh, logo pulled up here. And if I click that, then uh, it does change the color of the fire. You may need to just kind of, actually, I'm going to use the other one because that was kind of kind of big. And you just kind of uh, adjust that a little bit at the height, the intensity. You make this a little bit bigger so you can you know you can kind of see it and so you know while that feature is probably not like the most useful uh, i do think it's pretty interesting honestly uh because you can make it uh so like you can cut out um the edges here um now i don't know exactly what um what the color schemes are i think that if it's um i think if it's black then the color won't show up and if it's white then it's just normal fire uh, but it will also take into account like the color of your picture. Uh, another quick example of this, uh, I believe I have it in my downloads. Yeah, so just the, there's the polygon logo here. So you can see it a lot better with this one um, where it may just help you cut out uh, maybe like particular shapes that you need if you're doing uh, landscaping. So that th this is a really cool effect in my opinion. Like it, uh, it just lets us incorporate more fire into our scenes because before I feel like everyone wanted to avoid it because it just would not give you the quality that you need. But they did do one more thing with this that I do think is interesting. So if we drag this over here, and I'll make this a little bit bigger. Maybe make the height a bit bigger. And the intensity is probably good there. Uh, actually, we'll just make this a tiny bit bigger. Okay, so as you can see here, there's like these embers uh, on the ground there. Uh, and we can actually make this interact with things. So if we go into nature, and I'll just type in uh, wood. Um, and then we'll put like, uh, maybe something. Yeah. So I think that's a good example. So if we drop this here, as you can see now that wood is actually on fire, um, because the, the embers on the bottom are almost like a, a stamp that's draped on top of it. So anything that that touches, it will have that effect. And so, you know, while it's not perfect, I think it gives you enough, uh, of just kind of like a passing glance at it to make it look like the log is actually on fire. Uh, and if you actually go back to the video at the beginning of my video, uh, just at that eight second clip with the fire and you actually look at the wood, you can see that they are, it does look well enough that they're on, um, or they're on fire. And so that, um, that's a pretty nice touch they added. Cause I was kind of curious just what it would seem like if you put the like wood right into the fire and uh, it seems to work pretty well. As you can see, you get the same effect here where if you put this in, then it, uh, it, like the, the embers just drop on top of it to make it look like it's on fire. Um, so maybe I'll just like, yeah, I'll just throw in something, a small log, just like this. Yeah, just something like that. And then, yeah, you can see, uh, well, I guess it's kind of hard to see in the nighttime view, but this kind of gives you a good idea of that. So that, yeah, I think that's really cool too, because this is going to let you get those like enclosed shots for background scenes and, uh, or backyard scenes rather. 
um, where the one that kind of comes to mind um, is the uh, the Lumion 10.5 backyard, where they had one shot where it's going past the fire pit, but it was just like a, it was like this, this crappy fire here. Um, and I felt like it kind of ruined the effect. I think it might even been this one. And so as you can see, like it's just like night and day. Like it's it's not even compare it's not even comparable anymore. So yeah, that's that's really cool. And that's another uh, neat little feature that got added into uh, Lumion 11. So um, yeah, if you're not subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and help me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you are subscribed, I have some more videos coming. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you there. Have a great day.